Hey everyone, it's January 14th, and that means that if today is your birthday, you shared with English serial killer Dr. Harold Shipman, known as Dr. Death, who may have murdered more than 200 victims beginning in the early 1970s. And that is him right up there. Shipman was born in 1946, the second son of a truck driver in Nottingham, England. He had a very close relationship with his mother, who died of cancer when he was just 17. During her final days, he saw how morphine was used to ease her pain, which he would later mimic while becoming one of the world's most prolific serial killers. A bright student, Shipman received a scholarship to attend medical school, graduating in 1970. He was driven to become a doctor after seeing the suffering his mother went through. Shipman was working as a general practitioner by 1974 and also was a married father of two. All was not right in the world, however, as he found himself in hot water the next year, being caught forging prescriptions for painkillers for his own use. After a short stint in rehab, he was back out and practicing medicine in Manchester in 1977. He worked there through the 1990s, opening his own private practice in 1993. Shipman was so well thought of that he appeared in a British docuseries giving his thoughts on the treatment of the mentally ill. His colleagues considered him to be a very capable, albeit arrogant, doctor. In 1998, an undertaker first noticed that Shipman's patients had an alarmingly high death rate. They also were almost always found fully clothed and sitting up in their beds. When another doctor raised similar concerns, they notified the police. An investigation was launched, but Shipman had altered the records of many of his former patients, covering up his murderous behavior. Later that year, a taxi driver called the police when he noticed that dozens of the seemingly healthy patients he had dropped off at Shipman's office subsequently died. And when one of his patients was found dead in her home after a house call, the police finally acted. A will was discovered giving a substantial sum to Shipman, which her daughter was convinced was a forgery, and the police agreed. Her body was exhumed and found to have died of a morphine overdose. Shipman's home was raided where the police found jewelry belonging to many of his former patients and a typewriter that had been used to forge the will. At this point, they began to investigate the deaths that had occurred under his care and came to the realization that he may have killed hundreds of victims. A trial began in 1999 with prosecutors focusing on 15 recent deaths in which they'd been able to obtain sufficient evidence. Shipman claimed that he helped end the suffering of terminal patients, but none of them had been diagnosed with anything that was likely to kill them. He was convicted of 15 murders in 2000 and was sentenced to spend the rest of his life behind bars. Later inquiries pegged the number of victims as between 218 and 236, and psychologists determined that he was addicted to killing, something that he may have first killed a patient way back in 1971, and we'll never know just how many were murdered by his hand because in 2004, he hanged himself in his cell using his bed sheets to form a noose. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Dr. Harold Shipman, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.